Welcome to It's Over for the Westlings. I'm Lakeisha Westling and this is my husband Chris Westling and this episode is basically going to be dedicated to our experience as becoming first parents during a pandemic and how that has been for us. Um, I guess I'll just get it started. It's been extremely strange because you expect this moment you're going to be spending it with a lot of like friends and family it's this you know huge moment in your life and it just ends up being the two of us i feel we're lucky that I f we have a great foundation we just got married almost a year ago from now um so we haven't been getting on each other's nerves that bad so that's been going well but the fact that it's just us and we can't experience this with our family really blows like we weren't able to go home for you know a baby shower things like that and you know having your friends and family rub on your belly I feel um my mom was a big part whenever we were trying and then she came back out um before Christmas too and I think that if she wasn't out here for any of that stuff I would have oh excuse me got no space in here if she didn't come out for those moments i think that would be extremely hard for me i don't know how you're holding it together you on a day-to-day -day basis all you have to talk to is me and you really want to talk about baby stuff and stuff that you talk <laughs> to your girlfriends about yeah. and your mom and your sister and all you have is me and i'm reading a lot of books and you want to talk not baby books and stuff for no, the record just like i I've been reading a lot of articles, a lot of books, and I'll be in the middle with a high concentration level on what I'm reading, and she'll, like, it'll pop into your mind, like, you want to talk about this life growing inside mm -hmm. of you, and I think for a lot of girls, when you're in your hometown, you have brunches, and you have, mm -hmm. you know, dinners, and you have drop-bys, and yeah. you talk about it, and... All you have is me. And I feel like it's different too because women, we're going through it all and you're, you don't get to experience the things that I get to experience. So it's kind of like, yes, we're both expecting a baby, but I'm the one that's, you know, feeling the kicks or these little milestones and moments Definitely. and stuff. And it's just, yeah, that part. Definitely. And you're so into it. Like this is... You have this. It's taken over my whole body. Well, in addition to that, like that's something that every woman deals with. But I think, especially, like you have a nurturing personality. This is something mm -hmm. that you've wanted for a long time, and you're super excited. And for me, it's like I, I want. I don't know if it's super. I think it's. Oh, normal. you're excited. super excited. I and for me, normal. like I want to reach some excitement levels, like naturally. And that's you're like saying. three miles ahead of me sometimes, and it's saying. like you're it's, tugging that's, me along. That's what I'm saying. It's different for women. This isn't like some craziness excited. This is like normal excitement for a woman. But because he's a guy and he's just, he was he was a part of the beginning and the baby making process. But since then, like it's just the woman doing all of the work. So there's like the disconnect. So that's why you can't get to where I'm at yet. So it's gonna take you seeing him, right? And then you'll be there. You want somebody. Not to commiserate, but somebody who kind of like gets it. And I'm not like on your level with what's yeah. growing inside of you. I'm more like, what can I do to make your life easier at this moment? Yeah, so it's, I think the part that I had a freak out, I think my only freak out, honestly, was when I realized that my sister hadn't seen me pregnant yet and she hasn't touched my belly. And for her whole pregnancy, like I was there for, you know, when she told me that she was pregnant, um, I would go to doctor's appointments. I was there in the delivery room. Like I saw my nephew being born, like I was a big part of her pregnancy. And then when I realized like, she's gonna be like none of it. Like my mom's not gonna be able to be in the room anymore now. Um, my sister's not gonna be able to be in the room anymore now. Um, one of my best friends is not gonna be able to take pictures of the whole process. So that part really sucks, but the only other time I freaked out is when I started seeing reports that women weren't, the spouses weren't allowed in the delivery room. And that's when I was like, oh, wait, ho, hold up. Like, that's just, that wasn't going to work for me. That's been a month now since that. Like, yeah, but I that's think, still a process yeah. of what, like, that's a big part of, like, every everybody's experience. Like, that was huge, not 
to like have him get to a point where he might not even be there like yeah i yeah i was ready to have a home birth and i just would have been fine and prayed that everything would have went well but there just was no way i would have you miss that moment and i would need you by my side at that moment so that part i was just like you gotta be freaking kidding me are we in the twilight zone right now no i think that you said that was a deal breaker for you it was definitely a deal breaker for me i think you've handled this having a pregnancy in the middle of a pandemic you've handled that very well like you, there's been a few times where i could tell like you're not yourself and the hormones are kicking in and you would you would be like upset about a few things that you normally wouldn't be upset about i don't think that had anything to do with the pandemic i think that's just no i just mean like you've handled the pandemic well you've mm -hmm. just the the times when you've been upset are just normal hormone hormonal things mm -hmm. that anybody would go through it has nothing to do with the pandemic yeah so um what else has there been that's been really weird oh not being able to go to birthing classes or breastfeeding classes that's kind of sucked oh um, we're watching so much stuff <laughs> not even so much stuff Some i'm watching goofy. a lot of stuff he doesn't watch much i finally found like this documentary that he is okay with watching we're they probably got a couple halfway. of old broads like nurses and these girls know what they're doing i like the show yeah, it's a documentary we're about halfway through right now um so i finally found that that we can watch together but i've been watching a lot of stuff on youtube just learning about breastfeeding and whatnot um a lot of um through like amazon prime and stuff i've been watching a lot of like birthing videos and stuff i always feel bad because he'll be like you know working or something i'll try to turn it down really low because it's like all these girls are screaming and i'm just watching to try to learn more and figure out what our birthing experience is going to be even though i know every woman is different but i like the ones that talk to you like adults and there's a few where it feels like there, there's some goofy community where everybody's gaga over everything. And it's like, let's calm down. Just lay it on a little bit too thick with the saccharin here. C cut me a break. But the two old broads, the nurses are great. I liked it. Yeah. Um, another thing that's been helping being stuck at home, we're both working from home, um, has been getting like the nursery ready. Just keeping, keeping myself busy has been... Um, the best part because it's made the time go by so fast i'm 36 weeks and a half right now and i just feel like you would think being stuck at home would make this time go by extremely slow and it hasn't like it's each week i'm like whoa what 34 35 36 like 37 is gonna be here on friday like what the heck like this kid's gonna be here soon so yikes yeah we've been keeping pretty busy i mean between the nesting face with the nursery mm -hmm. and hanging out with the neighbors. We have a great little neighborhood where people want to do happy hours most nights and, and that's been helping pass the time. Yeah. I've been cooking quite a bit. We've got our own little projects. Yeah, so building, doing little fixer uppers in the nursery, putting things in the wall and hanging and trying to figure out what goes where and whatnot. Thank God for like Amazon and um baby list and bye bye baby just being able to just de deliver stuff because if not we would have really been screwed with the items i feel like i feel like we've been good extremely well on like staying home um he's usually the one that goes to the grocery store and he always wears like a mask and gloves and stuff the only time i basically leave the house is just for my doctor's appointments and um he doesn't go to those just you know because of the extra exposure and stuff you only go like if you need to get a shot or something like that but for the most part right now i'm just i'm going every week and there's no need for him to even be there but that's just staying inside and not trying to kill each other <laughs> yeah I, I feel like you know for the most part we've gotten along really well for only being exposed to each other for so long you mm -hmm. know it'll be different with a baby yeah i think now that is going to be the hilarious video <laughs> after the child is here and completely flips our world upside down because i feel like especially hearing stories from my friends that have kids right now it's like whoa working from home trying to you know be teachers 
and everything like it's just and they have these kids running around and they're also trying to work like full-time jobs i'm like oh my gosh that sounds insane well i don't think we'll be teaching anytime soon no so i, I feel like we got lucky because our kids just gonna you know just be a baby right now but imagine like if it's we gonna had be a to, poop making machine that's it poop making breast drinking that's it yeah sleeping sleeping lots of sleeping yeah but yeah. And he's going to be stylish from what I've seen so far. I'd... Boys, I think he's got hard. more. He's got more chucks than I do. Just three. Um, but yeah, so. If you're pregnant and you're going through the same thing that we're going through, leave a comment. Let us know how your experience is. Like, let's lean on each other for support, moral support and everything. Because it's crazy times. And I'm trying to be very positive And I'm hoping at some point things will kind of get back to normal because the thought of my family not in your family like not meeting our son until like several months later is kind of weird i'm hoping that we'll be able to travel this summer i'm keeping my fingers well, crossed and praying i think at this point i'd be just as happy to go on a road trip driving as i would flying yeah so we I thought can't. about driving to go visit family in I the mean, Midwest. There aren't going to be any sports going on. I don't think they're going to miss me from football coverage in July and August or whatever. I mean, you you got a laptop, so we you could work take, from home. We could take so weeks to drive across the country, and it could be a very memorable experience. We just want to be able to travel to see our family. Well, why can't we? Let's do it. Well, because of the pandemic that we're in right now, we COVID-19. If we can drive to Home Depot, we can drive to St. Louis. Yeah, but... They've got Home Depots there. Yeah, but we, uh, I mean, I'm you not I'm just going to take my, I'm not taking my newborn child to Home Depot. There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to fly eventually, so it doesn't matter whether it's COVID or not. Let's just drive whenever you want. Whenever they, whenever the doctors tell us the baby can travel, we're taking off, throwing him into the car seat. Thank you for watching this episode. Be sure to subscribe. Um, there's going to be more videos talking about um, how it was for us to register for the baby. It was a hot mess. We're going to keep it real. I ended up crying all the way home. The experience was horrible. Um, also, I want to talk about how we met because he just did a podcast and he's always kind of messing up a certain <laughs> part. So I want to make sure I have my voice and tell my side of the story so um you those videos tell, will be coming you can tell whatever version you want it's and that can truth. be the true version that's fine with i've me. got witnesses buddy i would be happy witnesses. To, to no longer have to tell the story <laughs> and then you just step in every time witnesses on my version so thank you so much for watching be sure to hit subscribe